Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Next, we'll look at applying transitions and we do this to give off a certain effect. Just go to the transitions tab, like I am over here. Then under transition to this light group, this one, click the more drop down arrow. Then from here, you can select the transitions that you want. Now we have the subtle group, exacting, and dynamic content and by default it's set to none as you can see so for the first slide i'll select dissolve and then it will give me a preview i'll go to the second slide and choose um, vortex and you can see it will give me a preview i'll go to the third slide and add another one uh, honeycomb and it gives you a preview lastly I'll add um, random buys. And that's how you add transitions to a presentation. Now you have preview options. Let's say you've done you're done editing your presentation, but you want to come back to the first slide and have a preview of the transition that you added. You can do that by clicking on the preview command over here. And as you can see, it will give you a preview, or you can also click on this. Now let's say I'm on the second slide. You can click on the play animations command to get a preview of that transition. Now you can also change the duration of a transition. So currently um, on slide two, this transition lasts for four seconds as you can see. And if I play it, you'll see it will take a bit longer. As you can see, it takes up to four seconds to finish, but I can reduce that to make it go faster. So let's give it around that. Then if I play it, let's look at the preview. It went super fast. Now I'll take it back to four seconds. Like that. And now it will take a bit longer to play the transition again. Now you can also add sound effects to your transitions. All you have to do is come to the sound command. Then over here, click the drop down arrow and then select from this list over here. So I'll select, um, I'll go to the first slide, come over here and select drum roll. So I'll apply that sound effect to the first slide. So if I play this from the beginning, you can hear it will give that sound effect. Now press escape to leave the present, the sli slideshow mode and come back to my presentation. And then we have this advanced slide settings under timing group. Now, normally in slideshow view, you will advance to the next slide by clicking your mouse or by pressing the space bar or arrow keys on your keyboard. Now, we have the advanced slide setting in the timing group, which allows the presentation to advance on its own and display each slide for a specific amount of time. So all you have to do is uncheck this box on mouse click and check after then from here i can choose how long i want a slide to stay then it moves to the next one so i'll select two seconds then click on apply all apply to all command and this will be applied to all the slides so if i play this from the beginning it will take it two seconds for you to go to the next slide for you to go to the other slide it also take two seconds so that's how you use the advanced time so I'll click escape to go back.